everyone welcome back to another video today i'm going to be ranking the elite one fans for this season it is going to be the current season obviously it's still occurring because of the playoffs i kind of wanted to do this towards the end of the season because i've not really watched many league one games now it's come to the end of the season and i've got a rough idea of each set of fans from each team I thought why not do it now so obviously as you can see we have got the table going from poor all the way to top tier fans we were gonna start with that Corinthian Stanley put them in poor just because you know who are they got a very big fan base they don't really get a very good away following what is all right for obviously where they're based but I mean, apart from that, there's nothing great about the fan base as a whole. Doncaster, obviously, I haven't really heard much, so I think I'm going to put them in bad, just because of the fact that I don't know them properly, but videos that I've watched and what people have told me, they have said to me that it's all right. Moving on to Ipswich, they have got a pretty good fan base. I'm going to go top tier following and the amount of fans they get at home and away, so they're a top tier club for me, and they are one of the biggest fan bases in league one portsmouth obviously they are going in top tier because they do have class away fans and home fans they always get a big crowd and a big turnout the atmosphere there is really good wimbledon there they're going in poor you don't really hear much about their fan base you know it's not the biggest and it's not the best cheltenham i'm gonna put in average just because of the fact of when i've seen them when i've been to cheltenham and when they've come to us they've had a decent following not many, I mean, the atmosphere's all right, you know, it's decent at home, it's all right away. Fleetwood, I'm gonna put in bad. I mean, you know, they don't really get a massive away following. The home the home atmosphere's all right, but I mean, they are, they are a fairly small club, so. Wigan, I am going to put in top tier. They do have an amazing home and an away following, so. I mean, there's not much else to say. They just do have the atmosphere. Plymouth, I am going to put in good. Obviously, if it was League 2 fans, I would have put them in top tier. I just think, obviously, with other teams in the league, they're maybe not as good, but they were on the verge of top tier. Cambridge, I am going to put in average, just because, obviously, from experience, when I've been there, the fans are all right. They do bring a good away following to us, but I think that's obviously because it's a 40-minute drive. Um, the attendance has gone up this year for them since they've been promoted as expected but I mean there's nothing overly great about it it's just kind of an average kind of follower. Oxford I'm going to put in good they do have a pretty good home atmosphere away atmosphere they do have so many fans so I mean they are a pretty good side. Rotherham I'm gonna put in good obviously great away following great home following maybe not as good as the other three in top tier I mean against Gillingham massive following very well known side and I I am happy that they got promoted again. Burton, obviously, they're going to go in poor. I mean, they are a very small club, very small fan base. You know, there's not much else to say. I'm going to put Shrewsbury in good. Now, the things I've heard about Shrewsbury and the things I've seen is obviously they do have quite a good fan base. They do have displays. Um, I am friends with someone who runs the displays as a whole there good atmosphere they are a pretty good fan base Morecambe I'm gonna put in bad obviously I'm putting them in bad just because how far away they are from the majority of the team so I find with away days especially for them not many turn up just because of the fact of the distance I'm going to put crew in average decent kind of atmosphere some fan base there are pros and cons underland obviously they are going top tier they are the fan base is way too good for league one um they are currently in the playoffs um amazing result against sheffield wednesday actually i did think sheffield were actually going to go through but you know um so yeah they are just too good for league one like sunderland fans watching this credit absolute credit Charlton I'm going to put an average, I mean I've heard good things, I've heard bad things but I've not really heard much. Lincoln I am going to put in top tier, they do have quite a good home following, they do have a decent away following as well. 
Um, there is room for improvement, however, they are a very good fan base and they were when they were in League 2. So, MK Dons, I'm going to put in bad. I mean, there's not really much about it. No home atmosphere whatsoever. No away atmosphere. They were pretty poor when we went there. Wickham, I am going to put in good. I mean, they're not top tier, but they are decent. They are also currently in the playoffs. They're in the playoff final against Sunderland. Um, which will be an interesting one to watch. I mean, they do have a good fan base. Um, I've heard their home atmosphere when I've been isn't as good as their away atmosphere, but they do have good attendance. Bolton, obviously, are going top tier. I mean, like I said with Sunderland, they are too good for League One fan base wise. They are a massive club. Um, they do have a lot of history as well. You know, overall, they do have an amazing set of fans. So, I am going to do Gillingham. <laughs> so Gillingham I'm going to put in poor I mean you don't really hear much about them um, the away following apparently isn't that great the home atmosphere is not that great either so I am going to put them in poor Sheffield Wednesday obviously they are going in top tier they are an amazing fan base I do have quite a lot of friends that support Sheffield Wednesday and I do hear good things and I also do see good things they had an amazing turnout for the playoffs obviously it is the playoffs but I've also watched games where they have been on the TV and I have watched my friends' videos and I have heard a lot of good things about them. So, rightly so and rightly deserved a top tier team. Here is your League One fan table for this season. Obviously, people are going to like it, people aren't. So, I'm sorry if I have offended you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are trying to hit 2000 before the start of the season. Um, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video very shortly.